uh, so I'll just here differentiate between US and UK universities. So when it comes to statement of purpose, uh, UK universities are pretty straightforward. Just because they're conservative, they are very formal and very straightforward. They just want to know uh, which course do you want to do, why do you want to do it. Why do you want to do it in their university and a brief uh, background related to your academics or your work basically related to uh, your professional life when it comes to us universities now they look at your entire story uh, they want to know a little bit of your history your personal history as well as your professional history uh, they want to connect it to uh, they want you to basically connect your history to your present uh, educational life and how will it relate to your professional life in the future. So you need to sort of tell them why do you want to do law, what motivated you to do law, um, what happened in your past which sort of gave you uh, this idea that you want to pursue law, become a lawyer. Uh, so they look at your entire story basically. So it is always advisable, like I said, to look at the university's website then start drafting your SOP. Do not start drafting your SOP before doing your background research because you'll end up wasting your time. So you should definitely not mention uh, the things which are already mentioned in your CV. Uh, like I said, they look at all of your documents together, right? So you have a limited number of words, especially when it comes to UK universities, the word limit is very less. Uh, US universities still give you a wider ambit. But irrespective, uh, you should try avoiding things which you've already mentioned. For example, if you are in a particular committee or if you've uh, won a moot, it will be on your CV. You need not mention it again in your SOP. Rather, you should try mentioning things which are not there. For example, if you've uh, organized something which you think was very beneficial as a part of that committee, then you should mention that. So things which cannot be communicated through any other piece of work should definitely and which are related to the course you want to pursue should definitely be mentioned. Uh, if, for example, you are interested in IPR and you filed a patent for someone, that is a very big deal and you should probably mention that. So these are the little things which you should mention. You should definitely mention one aspect about the university um, which will make them realize that, you know, you want to go to the university for this. For example, uh, a lot of people uh, mention the faculty's name. Uh, I did not personally have any favorite faculty member as such. So I mentioned certain aspects of the program, which I really liked. For example, the best part about the program, which I did, is that they have a tie up with the business school. Uh, that was the highlight for me because you get to literally sit with the MBA batch and get taught about finance from the finance professors, which is amazing. Uh, you get access to the business school resources. Uh, as you can imagine, an MBA school will have a completely different set of resources compared to a law school. So that was amazing. Uh, so these aspects, if they're mentioned well in an SOP, works well for the student.